What is up guys? I am Daps, this is Daps Sports, and today we are going to continue to talk about the GOAT, Lionel Messi. Congratulations to everybody in Argentina. What a win, I cannot lie, I've been rooting for him. I wanted him to get that. Messi, Ronaldo debate, been going on for, I don't know, close to 20 years now. I think Messi has clearly cemented himself as the, the greatest of all time in the soccer world, not football, soccer guys. I'm pretty happy about it. I'm, I was glad to see Argentina win. Listen, France, France, no hate. I like Mbappe, hat trick, obviously incredible, but at the same time, listen, France, you got your win four years ago or whenever it was, you don't need another one. All right, I was just talking to a, a Tampa Bay Lightning fan. I said, listen, you got two in a row. Do you really need three? He said, I really want three. I said, relax, all right, just relax. France, everybody, chill out. You got one. Mbappe is what, like 21 years old, 23. I think you're gonna get another one. He's already got like, I don't know how many goals in, in, in the World Cup, but it's absurd. He's gonna break that record in my view as long as he stays healthy long term. Messi was supposed to come to Miami. I heard he's going back to uh, PSG for another year, 2024. Not too happy about that. I would have flew to Miami to watch him, watch him play, right? Why not? I don't think I'm gonna fly all the way to France. We'll see. Maybe there's a DAP Sports Viva La France coming up, I'm not sure. Anyway, let's get back to business, guys. We have a bunch of cards that I wanna go over. Top selling Messi cards on eBay. Only Messi, and this is how we did this, guys. Check this out. Then we're gonna go to sold items, highest first. 2014 World Cup Prism Red, BGS 9.5, $102,000. That's the highest selling Messi card ever on eBay. We can get the true value of that sale. Remember guys, we're gonna go over to 130point.com, our best friend to check out. If you ever are searching an eBay item and it says best offer accepted, you hop over to 130point.com. That's gonna help you out. This is really deceptive, guys. $102,000, best offer accepted on this bad boy, $18,500. 20% of the sale. This is a 2014 World Cup Prism Red, which sold on October 1st. Now, in my opinion, because Messi won the World Cup this year, 2022 World Cup Prism now is gonna go up in value. Those Messi cards are gonna be one of the most valuable set 10 years from now, however long it is, because this was Messi's championship year, right? This is the year he won the World Cup. So guys, that was the number one selling card. The second card on this list is a Lionel Messi Panini Instant FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022 Black 1 of 1. Guys, Panini Instant means it's a digital card. 35 grand, best offer accepted. I don't think that's gonna be anywhere close to 35 grand. We'll check that as well. Yeah, guys, so this one went for four grand, the Panini Instant 1 of 1, nowhere near 35K. A lot of these sales are not looking real. Well, they're real, they're just not at the, the price point that these cards were listed for. So 2020 Stadium Club Chrome UCL Messi Super Fractor True is gonna be the third one on the list. And again, guys, if, if you missed the beginning of this video, you're just searching Messi into eBay. Just Messi and then filter the highest sold just to see the highest selling uh, search results with the name Messi in it, right? This Stadium Club Chrome Super Fractor True, guys, Super Fractor 101, one of our favorites over here at DAP Sports, those Super Fractors. This was listed at 25,999. It sold for $19,000. So this is a, a better reflection of what the card was listed for and its true value. And then beneath that, we talked about this card a couple weeks ago on, I think it was top five World Cup cards. This is the gold 2022 Prism Messi that sold for $20,000 raw. So if that gems, guys, that could reach 60, 70, 80, $100,000. And this was before he won the World Cup. So that gold Prism Messi, I mean, listen, a PSA 9 Joe Burrow last year sold for 60 grand. PSA 9 Joe Burrow hasn't won anything. Messi's the greatest in his sport ever. So I could see this card being into the six figures easy. It's out of 10, gold Prism, World Cup, same year that he won the championship. Uh, very, very cool card, guys. That's the one that's, that's kind of like my eyes are going towards. Like, Ooh, that's the card that could potentially have a lot of value. And obviously, that doesn't mean it's the most expensive. There's super fractors. There's true rookies of Messi um, that aren't on this list. But still, gold prism, good, good card to have. Guys, another interesting article just to reference. 
Sportico. Messi now tops in collectible cards over Jordan, LeBron, and Brady. And now, guys, that's not lifetime, but because of this win, he's the hottest athlete right now, right? How long will that last? I don't know. It's kind of what have you done for me lately in the sports market and in the card market, right? If you hop over here, guys, you can see at least for a day, Messi was the most important player in sports card collecting with search volume more than 400% greater than NBA great Jordan and James and more than 500% better than the ageless quarterback Tom Brady. Now remember, if Tom Brady somehow makes it back to the Super Bowl this year, I guarantee you those numbers are going to skyrocket for Brady on search results. Again, Brady, the GOAT of football, Messi, the, the GOAT of soccer. So. Remember guys, we talk about this in previous episodes. It's all about hype, right? Who is performing well right now? And when Messi wins the World Cup, everybody searches Messi online, which leads to more people searching Messi on eBay, which means to more people buying Messi cards, right? Which drives the value up of the card. Why does the value go up of the card? Because there's more buyers, supply and demand, right? The more buyers there are and the less amount of a particular product or a collectible or a sports card, that's how the price gets driven up. So more eyeballs on the messy cards currently means higher sale prices. That's how that works. Guys, another really, really cool thing I wanted to go over with you guys, never heard of this website before, but legendary messy shirt sale breaks record. Somebody spent $450,000 on a messy jersey. A super fan bought the item which the Argentine famously wore in El Clasico for $450,000. A football enthusiast is now the proud owner of a legendary shirt, Messi Don, in El Clasico after purchasing the item for a whopping $450,000. Guys, $450,000 for a jersey, absolutely nuts. I'm curious to see if there's going to be a Messi card that soon breaks that record, and I won't be surprised, I'll tell you that much. Another Messi record broken, which is actually very, very cool, guys. Messi recently broke the record of a TikTok. <gasps> what does that mean? I'll show you what that means. Lionel Messi, holding the World Cup trophy right here, got 71 million likes on the photo, which is the record for most likes on any social media post ever. Some TikToker, I don't know her name, she had 60 million likes on a TikTok video that she made. Messi broke it with this, holding the trophy in the air, looking up, absolutely incredible. I mean, listen man, these soccer players, they have much more worldwide appeal because remember, soccer, international sport, I think four billion people watch the World Cup in relation to the Super Bowl, which is like 100 or 200 million, right? Because we're limited in the United States to just kind of our viewership where soccer, I mean, look at the World Cup. You have countries everywhere. So pretty, pretty incredible guys. Messi breaking records all over the place. Shouldn't be surprised. He's been arguably the GOAT for the last 10 years. What he did in Barcelona was incredible. He reached the World Cup final in 2014, lost to Germany. Now he comes back, gets that win. Guys, we will keep reporting on this to see what the highest selling Messi card in the next six months to a year. I'm super curious. I bet you there is a Messi sale within the next year that breaks $1 million in the card market. That's my prediction. I don't know which card it's gonna be, but watch out for it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll be back in two days with another Star Wars video. Catch you then.